Well, welcome all. Smithy here, and today we've got a little tutorial all about uh, Rocket Dock. Now, if you haven't got a Mac uh, and you've wanted to have that Mac uh, bar on your computer rather than just the plain Windows one you have, then this is the video to have a look at. A simple uh, program which allows you to store your icons on a bar, change the size of the bar, put it on the right, left, or top, add some themes and all sorts as well. So that's what this video is about. So let's go straight in it and show you the website where you can download this fantastic uh, Rocket Dock. So here we are at rocketdock.com. I put the link in the bottom of this video, and this is where you can download uh, Rocket Dock. And uh, yeah, it's been around for a number of years, and I've used it for a number of years. And it's ideal to get rid of all those icons onto a lovely bar at the top. You can have a look at the video there, and you'll be able to obviously see how it goes. It is very simple to use. It's been around the time of Vista, and it, most people use it to sort of uh, impersonate uh, a Mac desktop. So all you have to do is download it. But first of all, I'm going to show you some of the things it has. What's really interesting is if you go and have a look at the add-ons, there are loads and loads of skins, icons, and docklets. Uh, and you can these are from 2007. But uh, if I go to the newest ones here, uh, there's even Apple, the new Apple Pencil design there. So, and there's lots of like quirky designs, thousands and thousands, uh, which give you a different type of Rocket Dock uh, uh, idea. And uh, so you can download them as some really cool stuff. And go and have, head over there and have a look if you're interested. Uh, I can type in. Uh, so you can use the search facility. Uh, yeah, I've used Apple here. Uh, if I just put Apple in and then you search and you see that basically you can go up to ratings, uh, the old Mac OSS Leopard, you can go to newest, which have got some of the new designs here. We'll click on this one to be example and you can just click on it and have a look. And it, what it means is you get the background as well as the dock, the docket, as it says. It takes a little bit uh, while to load, but you can see here it looks like a Mac. But we're not going to do that. We're just going to download the basic one, which is not basic, as you will see, and it's pretty good. So we're just going to head back there, and all you have to do is go to the download section, and you will see that you need X, which is 2000 XP Vista or 7. Uh, not sure if it works with 8. I haven't tried it. There are different ones for 8. But uh, I'm just going to download uh, Rocket Dock and it's a version 1.3.5. And you just literally download it. And it, you can see I'm in Chrome, so it downloads straight into the uh, little Rocket Dock on the left. And then uh, we'll show you how it's uh, installed. Now, just give you a warning that 64 uh, bit versions of uh, Windows are not supported. However, we are on Windows 7 64-bit. I've been using this for about three years. Every now and again, it has a little bit of a crash, but hey, it works really well, as you see. So let's go and load this up. Simple as that. Yeah, I'm going to load that up. And uh, what we'll do is come back to desktop, press English, OK. Just press Next. Uh, I accept the agreement. Press it, off you go. And look, it's putting it straight into the 866. 86 and create a desktop icon. Well, you might need that. I'll get rid of it afterwards, but just in case it doesn't uh, go straight away, and it's going to be a simple install, very quick, very easy. Finish, uh, and you can see the bar isn't up yet. So let's go and start it up. And when we boot it up, it would just literally load up as a basic uh, design. And there you go at the top. Uh, and it's got my computer, my network my documents, uh, my music, my pictures, control panel items, which is really cool because it can go straight into there so you don't have to look at it in the thing. Uh, punk software, well that's uh, where you can uh, look at the software, show you support and then settings and then the recycle bin which uh, will just empty as normal which means you don't need to have the recycle bin up here. You can bring any icons into it as we show you now. So let's go and look at the settings. Uh, run startup because I want it to run every time. Uh, icons, uh, general settings, store settings, yeah, minimize minimize windows to dock, no, run application, uh, no, no. Right, uh, icons, you can play around with the, look at this, you can play around with the opac uh, opacity, you can increase the size, which once you get, depends on how many icons you got. Uh, so that's pretty cool. 
uh, and you can have different style a zoom bubble uh, zoom plateau is sort of different uh, zoom flat yeah, I don't like that one. <laughs> so, or none. So I'm going to go for the bubble one because that's it. But it has that lovely design. Uh, the zoom, uh, I can make it bigger so I can sort of get bigger icons as I zoom along, which could be quite good when you make it smaller. Uh, and the zoom width and duration of uh, zoom. Uh, position, you can change it. Uh, and I can put it on monitor 2. Take it across, gone. Bring it back to monitor one so you can have it on different monitors. I can have it on the right. Uh, I can have it on the, the bottom, but then that clonk Kong flicks look with mine. Uh, and so I'll put it at the top because I've got my bar down here, which works fine. So all is good. Uh, uh, edge offset, I can bring it away from the edge, which I find really cool to do and I can center it 100%. So, and the other thing is style. Uh, I can, different themes. Oh, look at this, this Astro Glass. Uh, and I wanna go back to that Astro Steel. Uh, so you can play around that. So you don't need Luminous, that's good, isn't it? Uh, milk, uh, uh, what I did is, remember what I had? Can't remember what I had now. Oh, Crystal XP, let's come back to that, nice and simple. Uh, but there are, yeah, there are some fantastic little, and you can download new ones as well, which uh, look just as cool. Oh, well, that's cool. Yeah, I like that. Uh, but I'll go back to being the, oh, yes, that's a bit bright as well. So let's just go back oop, to the Crystal XP, which I like, because I'm an XP fan. Uh, and behavior. Uh, you can icon attention. Uh, I can have all sorts of things uh, pop up mouse over and just tells you about. So there you go. So uh, we'll have that. And the it's so easy to use. Uh, let me show you. I want. Uh, I've got the icons down here which I most use. However, I like here. I put these word icons. Uh, I don't want them uh, all over my desktop. So literally, I drag and drop and we'll drop it into there, see? Uh, and I'll put, oi, I'll put uh, Excel next, because I tend to use that second most. And you can move them just like uh, any other icon and pop it in there. And uh, let's just put one note is something that I use and the publisher is the last one which I'll put after there. So there they are, which means then you can uh, delete your icons it's well cool because uh, you can carry on now so you can decide to have a top and bottom bar in windows which is pretty good uh, so i know i use photoshop as well so let's just whack that into there uh, there we go and you can move them you can drop them out and move them around so there you have it uh, and we can make the i think I'll, at the moment i don't need that so let's just go back to the rocket dock settings Go to icons and let's go just like that. I like a good strong icon, but let's make them a bit bigger. Yeah, and I can change that at any time. So there you have it. Uh, that didn't save. That's my fault. There we go. Okay, there we go. So once you've got it, and again, you can hover over them, so it looks pretty cool. Right, I hope you enjoyed that little tutorial. Easy to use, just show you what Rocket Dock is. And as you can see, it does work with 64-bit uh, Windows. As I say, I haven't tested Windows 8 or anything else like that, but I'm sure you'll find it absolutely wonderful. Thanks very much indeed for watching. Please comment, please sub, and uh, bye for now.